the uric acid is coming from purines and purines are nitrogen containing substances that kind of are used in the, as building blocks for DNA and RNA and energy. So the energy in our body c- comes from a substance called, called ATP. And it's really important. It's what drives us. You know, we make energy and then we use that energy to drive biologic process, whether it's breathing, drinking, walking, talking, thinking, uh, we're using ATP. And when ATP breaks down, it generates purines that get broken down further to uric acid. And likewise, when DNA, which is in the nucleus of our cells, and RNA, which drives protein production, these substances also contain purines. So purines, you know, we think of protein, fat, carbohydrates, but there's also, you know, what's in our nuclei, what's uh, this DNA and RNA, and they're made up of purines and uh, purine-like substances. And when they get broken down, you make uric acid. How do we make uric acid? Well, we get we can make uric acid from sugar, and it turns out that when fructose is metabolized, there is a breakdown of ATP. So the ATP starts to decrease and get broken down, and it generates uric acid. But other foods can also produce uric acid, alcohol, for example. And then you can get uh, make uric acid from uh, foods that are purine rich. So that would be foods that have a lot of RNA and DNA. So things that have a lot of small nuclei in it, like sardines and caviar and, and uh, things like that, uh, they, they can have a lot of RNA and DNA. They have a lot of little, the cells are small yeast. Yeast has a lot of cells and nuclei. And so like brewer's yeast can have huge amounts of RNA in it, DNA. And so when you make beer and, there, and it has brewer's yeast in it, the alcohol is making uric acid, but the brewer's yeast is too. Some meats also you know, have a lot of nuclei. And so some meats, not all meats, but some meats also can generate uric acid when they're metabolized. Some plants have a lot of cells, cellular RNA and so forth. And they can also make uric acid. Okay, so you can make uric acid from food. You can produce uric acid like from overexertion and so forth when muscles, your muscle breaks down a little bit. And so you release DNA and so forth. So you can, you can make uric acid, you know, with severe exercise, for example, not, and, and modest exercise actually lowers uric acid. Most people think of uric acid as the cause of gout. So gout is this disease where with the uric acid levels get up high in the blood, the uric acid can crystallize because it's poorly soluble. And when it crystallizes, it typically crystallizes in joints. It loves the the big toe. Uh, because we're walking on it and there's oftentimes the toe has a little bit of uh, damage from years of walking on it so that the crystals can deposit there a little bit easier than other sites. Gout becomes the classic disease that people think of when they when they're getting their uric acid check. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. <laughs> 